गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू गना शॉट गना शॉट में आप सबका स्वागत है जय हिंद प्रणाम एंड वनकम एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीव सत आज हम बात करने वाले हैं इस अ ट्रांस एल ए सी क्लैश इमिनेंट और इसके बारे में बात करने के लिए मेरे साथ हैं जनरल दुष्यंत सिंह दुष्यंत सिंह वेलकम to today's evening uh, program at gana shot bahut din ke baad hum mil rahe hain it's a pleasure to see you always thank you sir jai hind and uh, namaskar pranam to everyone else uh, to all your audience yeah and isse pehle ki main aur kuch bolu do din pehle ye drishya nazar aaya tha ye ye inhone uh, you know south china morning post mein this was a poster very clear कि ड्रैगन और एलिफेंट का लड़ाई का सिलसिला राइट वो कलर पता नहीं क्यों वो पर्पल कलर में बना है ड्रैगन और एलिफेंट को बट है तो ये बट एक चीज आप मिस कर गए बैकग्राउंड में सन है बैकग्राउंड में सन है तो आदित्य आदित्य एल की चमक उनके ऊपर आ रही है कहीं ना कहीं ड्रैगन घबरा रहा है घबरा रहा है ठीक है और इसमें कोई डाउट नहीं है राइट right. तो बहुत है जी चिनपिंग यहाँ नहीं आ रहा है ब्रिक्स में उसको टाटा बाय बाय बोल दिया डॉलराइजेशन के बारे में नया मैप आ गया आई मीन देर सो मेनी थिंग्स विच आर गोइंग ऑन इसीलिए इसीलिए ये सब्जेक्ट हमने चुना आज कि क्या इंडिया और चाइना का एल के ऊपर कोई लड़ाई होने वाला है या क्लैश होने वाला है इससे पहले आई यू नो रिक्वेस्ट जनरल दुष्यंत टू गो ओवर द बेसिस ऑफ दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आज एक पहले कमेंट पिछले एक घंटे से मैं देख रहा हूँ किसी ने ये कमेंट डाला है ग्लोबल यूनिवर्स का उसके बाद उसको मैं पहले सबको दिखाना चाहता हूँ वो बोलते हैं यस इट इज इमिनेंट बट वेन थ्री ईयर्स फाइव ईयर्स सेवन ईयर्स डोंट नो it's prediction of bhavishya mallika orissa and vreem veer brahma hanfra giri telugu sent in telugu language and they are genuine sitare bhi bol rahe hain ki clash hoga par baat ye hai ki sitaron ko ye nahi pata ki kab hone wala hai kab hoga kab hoga par hamara anuman ye hai ki ye time sitare bahut dur hai ladai ho sakta hai nazdeek hai तो आपका क्या विचार है दुष्यंत जी आप बताइए देखिए इससे पहले कि हम मैंने एक प्रेजेंटेशन बना रखी है जिसमें जिस जिसमें हम थोड़ा सा उसको साइंटिफिकली एनालाइज करेंगे थोड़ा मोर क्रिटिकली एनालाइज करेंगे एक तो होता है एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल प्रोडिक्शन जो गुरु गुरुसा ने किया है लेकिन लेकिन वो एक बड़ा बड़ा प्रोडिक्शन नहीं है ये सभी को पता है कि इंडिया और चाइना के बीच में लड़ाई होनी है ये तो ये तो आप मान के चलिए इसमें देर इज नो डाउट वॉट सो एवर वेन इज द क्वेश्चन एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव आई मीन पीपल लाइक ट्राई टू डिसाइफर एज टू द टाइम फ्रेम एंड देन गिव इट आउट इन टू द पब्लिक कि कब होगा कब नहीं होगा सो दैट इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट टूडे एंड फॉर दैट कैन वी हैव माई what i'd like so, to add to jo what general doshan said is we don't know when it will happen but the imminence is always there iska jo you know shadow of a clash is always there and what will uh, be the yeah, yeah and ye bhi hai ye bhi hai ki clash kis tarah ke honge aur kab honge kab honge do cheeze aur kahan do cheeze kahan aur kahan honge there will be clashes it's not that it will take 3 years there may be a clash tomorrow also but what yeah. kind of a clash will it be a border skirmish will it be something beyond the galwan will it be something because everything is unpredictable as far as india and china is concerned bada bada unpredictable sa scenario hota hai to is samay china ki jo halat hai jo mere statement mein uh, qaid ho ko qaid ho gayi hai it has been captured in the statement weakening internal situation leads to an aggressive external posturing yani ki andar uski halat kafi khasta ho rakhi hai china ki jo aap sabhi log jante hai kai discussions ho gaye hain आपके चैनल पे मेरे चैनल पे और बाकी जो इस तरह के चैनल्स हैं वो भी डिस्कस कर रहे हैं तो 
ये जो इंटरनल सिचुएशन नॉर्मली जब किसी देश की खराब होती है तो इट वांट्स टू डाइवर्ट द अटेंशन ऑफ द इट्स ओन पब्लिक टू एक्सटर्नल इश्यूज एंड दैट इज व्हाट चाइना इज नाउ गोइंग थ्रू सो देयर फॉर इफ यू लुक एट इट्स इंटरनल सिचुएशन ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर स्ट्रगलिंग इकोनॉमी इट इज गोइंग नो ग्रोथ रेट जो प्रोडिक्शन है इस साल पांच फाइव है बट बाई ट्वेंटी इट इज गोइंग टू रिड्यूस टू थ्री पॉइंट समथिंग सो एक ये डिक्लाइन शुरू है एजिंग पॉपुलेशन के बारे में भाई बहुत लोगों ने बात कर दी और इसमें जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बात ये है कि क्वालिटी ऑफ डिफेंस पर्सनल पे फर्क पड़ रहा है इनफैक्ट इसी को लिंक करते हुए एक रिपोर्ट आई है जो कि जो कि बड़ा टेलिंग स्टेटमेंट है पुअर क्वालिटी ऑफ पी एल ए पर्सनल एज पर द रिपोर्ट एंड उसकी हेडिंग है इक्विपमेंट अवेटिंग टैलेंट अब आप इसी से समझ लीजिए कि कितनी बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है खाली इकोनॉमी के लिए प्रॉब्लम नहीं है the aging population is not only the problem for economy but also for its defense personnel xi jinping ki jo uh, mansik halat hai wo chinese communist party se hi disillusionment ho gaya disillusionment ho rakha hai unko iske bare mein main ek statement aapko bataunga and more importantly 2023 cpi says 23% chinese arms exports have been dropped because of poor quality तो आप देख रहे हैं कहां कहां पर इनका इंपैक्ट हो रहा है इनके ऊपर एंड अभी दे विल नॉट फील द द हीट अनदर टू थ्री इयर्स डाउन द लाइन दे विल स्टार्ट फीलिंग द हीट 19 ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी मे स्टार्ट मेल्टिंग डाउन आई एम नॉट सेइंग दे आर देयर बट इट विल हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ एन इंपैक्ट यू हैव सीन द इंटरनल सिचुएशन ऑफ द डिफेंस फोर्सेस रॉकेट फोर्स द एंटायर हायरार्की वाज चॉप्ड आउट बाय पर्स्ड बाय द बाय द जिनपिंग now what it indicates to us is that weakening interior aggressive external behavior kaise hai abhi aap isme dekhiye if you take the border talks you know shuru shuru mein they showed that you know we we we, we wish to avoid clashes we must maintain uh, peace and tranquility etc etc during the border talks the core commander level border talks which is about a major general level border talks we thi so people you know thought that you know possibly china is trying to mend its ways but that did not happen uh, look at the uh, xi jinping statement on the chinese communist party inki statement padhne wali hai ye ye recorded hai ye china se hi bahar nikal ke aayi hai aisa nahi ki hum apni taraf se isko concoct kar rahe hain xi jinping emphasized the significance of adhering to the principles of marxism and communism within the context of chinese characteristics wo bar bar bolte rehte hain socialism is uh, socialism with chinese characteristics but xi jinping usko ulta bolte hain the true socialism is social socialism followed by the chinese he warned that deviating from these beliefs could lead to similar disintegration as seen in the case of soviet union ye ek bahut badi statement hai from a person who is seen to be kind of all powerful controlling all the three organs of china we have to reflect on this and this is a very recent statement this is a statement of this year so we have to be careful while uh, reading china properly ki clash hoga kab hoga this gives us an indication that he will try other means before actually going for any clash with india okay ab bric summit ki baat le lijiye bric summit mein the chinese premier had a very very uh, i would say uh, disheartening body language but what global time does immediately when the bric uh, summit was over it comes out with a statement saying bric summit should be a wake up call for india then it follows it up with a new map on 31st of august where it not only annoys india kyunki india ke liye to ye purani baat hai har saal wo yahi map nikalta hai jisme arunachal ko apne paas dikhata hai aur aksai ko apne paas dikhata hai aur jo pog ke ka ilaka hai jo jo seed kiya hai usne pakistan ne china ko usko bhi wo apne map mein dikhata hai लेकिन इस बार उसने थोड़ा ही इज गॉन बियॉन्ड हिज नॉर्मल डिक्टेट ही इज अनॉयड रशिया ही इज अनॉयड द एंटायर साउथ चाइना सी ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द कंट्रीज विच विच मैटर इन साउथ चाइना सी इंडोनेशिया मलेशिया फिलीपींस एंड वियतनाम बिकॉज दीज आर द कंट्रीज विच एक्चुअली कंट्रोल एंड ऑफकोर्स ताइवान आई डोंट इवन वॉन्ट टू मैंशन इट बिकॉज ताइवान तो वो उसका जन्म सिद्ध आपस में दोनों का टकराव होता है दे बोथ आर क्लैशिंग विथ ईच अदर ऑन वेरी स्मॉल इशूज लुक एट इट लुक एट इट्स रिएक्शन वेन द वाइस प्रीमियर वेन टू यू एस 
China launched a, a ground exercise surrounding, sorry, sea exercise surrounding ta Taiwan from all directions. Its aircraft crossed the meridian, uh, China Strait meridian. Almost 23 of them went toward the Taiwanese side. So uh, it is trying to tell to its public that, look, uh, we are very strong and we are uh, capable of looking after our affairs. So do not worry, China is heading towards the correct direction. Xi Jinping dare hue hai. Isliye ye kodo hote na. Jab kutta, do kutte ladai karte hai, to jo daant bahar nikalta hai na kutta, wo actually dara hota hai. He is not, he is not the one who is aggressive. He is the one who is afraid. If you see a two dogs fighting with each other, the dog which is powerful remains quite silent and towering over that. That is the situation which Xi Jinping is having. Uh, I mean, ye purani wo ho gayi hai, ka news ho gayi hai, lekin Map ke turant baad usne ek reason dhunda ki bhai, I will not visit uh, China, uh, I will not visit the, uh, visit India in doing the G20 summit. Why? It is not that he is against the G20. He wants to target India. He wants to put India in a lower light by saying that, look, you have not been able to manage to get big parts together. Indonesia was able to do it, but here it is not so. And Russia, of course, has a different reasons for not attending, and India understands those reasons. Uh, so, therefore, we should not equate Russia's non-attendance, Putin's non-attendance to Beijing's non-attendance. Beijing's non-attendance is more directed to irritate India, to frustrate India, to put India under a uh, bad light, because whatever people may say, look, bol rahe ki, uh, India didn't come out well out, uh, out of the BRICS summit, but in my view, I think India played its cards well in the BRICS uh, 20 summit. As you if, if that that would be a separate discussion by itself, but uh, India did manage to get its way as far as BRICS 20 is concerned, and that has been hurting Xi Jinping ko kahin kahin wo takli pochha raha tha. So iska uh, iska ye matlab hua ki ye kya kar raha hai? Why is it doing this kind of a you know policy? Is you know it is looking at the current situation as the right time to assimilate Taiwan, awaiting outcome of Ukraine and elections in Taiwan. Mera mera ye manna hai ki China ये सोच रहा है कि इसमें रशिया भी थोड़ा weakened है because of the Russia Ukraine war. Taiwan काफी अपना सर उठा रहा है based on the backing of uh, US. If the Taiwan, if the Russia Ukraine war outcome is in favor of Russia, believe you me, Taiwan will get some kind of action. Will see some kind of action as far as as far as China is concerned, if nothing else, the Midway Islands will be captured by China. That's the way uh, I look at it. Or strategy is some kya adopt kar raha? Wo three warfare wali strategy adopt kar raha. Map kar raha hai, legal kar raha hai, economic kar raha hai. Matlab ye, he is trying to play in its uh, old game of three warfare strategies. This is a separate uh, 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 discussion which all of you are aware. I think General Shankar ne bhi iske upar kafi detail mein ek discussion kiya tha apne channel pe. It is also trying to edge out the US from the South China Sea in short term and from the second island chain in the medium to long term as per its vision of becoming a superpower of 2049. Uh, India is an eyesore, looks at India as a strong competitor and therefore it wants to keep India unsettled. Kabhi blow hot, blow cold. This is a Chinese proverb hai, da da. Dada Tantan. <laughs> fight, fight, mm. talk, talk. Talk, talk, talk fight, talk, fight. Talk, talk, this, talk. this is what India, this is what it has been doing with India right from 1949 when, uh, and we somehow fell into the trap of talk, talk and faced the uh, 1962 war. Subsequently, also it has done a similar kind of an activity, but I'm sure this time we will not fall prey to that strategy. We are all aware of what Chinese do. And therefore, China would like to keep India unsettled. How? Kaise karega unsettled? Kaise karega? Uske liye hum discuss karenge jo jiska hi aaj, aaj ka jo subject tha ki conflict scenario humare beech mein kya ho sakte? Ye jo aapko slide dikha rahe hain, isme ek, ek pura full spectrum capture kiya gaya hai. Humare paas unsettled borders hain. Aur in unsettled borders mein दस लोकेशंस ऐसी हैं जहां पे स्पेसिफिक डिस्प्यूट्स हैं ईस्टर्न सेक्टर यानी कि अरुणाचल प्रदेश में तीन सेक्टर ऐसे हैं जहां कि सेंट्रल सेक्टर जो कि यूपी और हिमाचल के बॉर्डर के ऊपर आता है तीन ऐसी लोकेशंस हैं चार लोकेशंस ईस्टर्न लद्दाख में हैं लेकिन मेरा ये मानना है 
please don't go by these location chinese are dumping every agreement down the drain unhone russia ke sath jo agreement kiya tha 2008 mein on the border they have dumped it this time by showing usuriski uh, bolshov Usuri, usuriya yeah. yeah yeah as uh, part of their territory which was supposed to be Pardon. divided half and half so they may expand the locations and galwan was one such incident doklam was the second such incident we may see new areas opening up in bhutan they opened up the north bhutan area for the north eastern bhutan area on the border of india and bhutan uh, the tri junction so they are capable of doing any new area uh, um, uh, intrusion transgression etc we should be prepared for that so that kind of a action may take place and we should be careful of that what about un- unarmed violent clashes doklam galwan kalash uh, kalash range yangse possible in kalash ranges it has got a very very i would say humiliating uh, defeat or i wouldn't say defeat also a humiliating uh, setback why it could not detect our forces coming on and occupying the heights which were overlooking this pangur gap and the moldo area so therefore uh, they became vulnerable especially the uh, southern bank of pangangso became vulnerable for uh, any chinese movement then uh, you have the limited conflict aksai chin uttarakhand arunachal pradesh these are the area where we could have limited conflict we will see how much is the probability of these limited conflicts can it happen and finally is the all out war can it happen what time it can happen and here i would like to put that uh, bhavishyavani jo kari thi odisha ke uh, bhavishyavani wale vakta ne ki wo kahan par jayega kyunki ultimate aim china ka kya hai ha yeah, ya uh, bhavishya malika urisa and uh, veer brahmana infra giri telugu so ye ye dono ki bhavishyavani is all out war ke tahat hai na ki ye jo chote chote jo cheeze maine batayi hain ye hoti rahengi this will continue kyun china wants to become more adept at deploying its military on a regular basis and in a diversified ways to enable it to win local wars ye uska aim hai aur usko karne ke liye pehle wo dheere dheere weaken karega you know apne adversary ko uske do hi adversary hain is samay us and india to of some significance the other the really uh, they don't matter that much to them so in my view what we are going to see is a gray zone war between india and china and what are the toolkits information war cyber wars economic wars legal wars cartographic wars jo ki aaj chal raha hai jiske upar discussion bhi hoga kal hum iske upar uh, ek detailed discussion karenge uh, kal wo mere channel pe hoga kal mere <laughs> channel pe hoga skype pe hoga aur uh, jan shankar will talk in detail about this so we will uh, take a look at that diplomatic wars डिप्लोमेटिक वॉर्स तो आप देख रहे हैं पिछले एक साल से चल रहे हैं दो साल से चल रहे हैं जब से गलवान शुरू हुआ है एंड आई मस्ट पुट इट ऑन रिकॉर्ड दैट मिस्टर जयशंकर इज डूइंग अ ग्रेट जॉब ऑफ इट आई थिंक ही ही इज अनसेटलिंग द चाइनीज नो एंड्स इमेजिन अ जस्ट लिसन टू अ स्टेटमेंट द द न्यू मैप इज एन एब्सर्ड एब्सर्ड या एब्सर्ड एंड दैट इज काइंड ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज व्हिच नो वन एल्स हैज यूज्ड इट इन द पास्ट नन ऑफ द अदर कंट्रीज हैव यूज्ड दिस काइंड ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज व्हाट Jashankar is doing it. Hats off to him. So, therefore, despite the nuclear factor and stated aim of becoming a prosperous nation by 2049, conventional deterrence is a must because ultimately, as per the Bhavishya Vani, all-out war will happen between India and China. So, what will happen in India and China? So, what will happen in India and China? That will depend on this overall spectrum of warfare, which will start from grey zone and go right up to the all-out war. Is uh, the nuclear uh, factor going to play a role? उसकी एक अलग कहानी है सॉन मैकफेड की एक किताब है जो कि मैं इस समय पढ़ रहा हूं और उसमें ये बात चल रही है कि हो सकता है ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम पीपल विल स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग लो ग्रेड न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स एज एन एक्सेप्टेबल नॉम व्हिच व्हिच डिस्ट्रॉयज अ लिमिटेड एरिया ऑफ कोर्स रेडिएशन इफेक्ट्स वुड बी देयर बट इट विल बी दैट मच लेसर इन द लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस वी डोंट नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ वॉर वी विल फाइट इट विल बी अ वेरी वेरी Uh, uh, it is in a distant time, but it is going to be different from what it is today. So, is there a possibility of uh, clash on the LAC? Pitfalls of physical clash are by on, by now well known to PLA, and such an incident may not be attempted. Why? 
probability of escalation is high and victory is limited why i say so quality of soldiers remember my first slide when i said that currently china is having a problem of equipment awaiting talent so wahan ek problem unke sath chal rahi hai battle hardness of indian armed forces untested they may be having superiority in the you know in the non contact sphere but when it comes to physical contact i think that is where the chinese will uh, suffer uh, and and then of course the nuclear overhang it would be prudent for india to play its nuclear cards well and it is good that we have now kept that uh, policy which we had said of uh, no first no first use to now cannot be ruled out you know so there is a ambiguity in our policy now and that been done possibly to keep china uh, as as one of our adversaries in mind what may take place war in the other domains i have already covered this so i am not going to repeat this proxy may start happening again via the uh, pakistani uh, establishment if pakistan is able to stabilize itself wo alag kahani hai main to mujhe to lagta nahi ki pakistan ab is going to stabilize in any near future look at the problems they are facing in pakistan occupied jammu and kashmir they are facing problems in gilgit baltistan these are the areas until they stabilize they uh, doing a proxy on india is going to be very difficult but yes that option is there with them my take is we will start seeing a mini cold war between india and china this will start happening we will be striving against each other especially in the niche technologies chandrayaan aditya l hypersonics ai robotics i want to share with you all uh, audiences that artificial intelligence is going to be a big factor in the future wars india has notched up places now it is fifth in the level of investments in artificial intelligence only behind us china uk and israel and very soon by 2027 we are likely to cross these and we'll be third in the artificial intelligence uh, in the military i'm talking about therefore i think this is going to be the new dimensions where new cold war will start happening between india and china uh, uh, mini cold mini cold war i won't say cold war but mini cold war will start happening you will see these low level uh, clashes what should india do this is my last slide and then we can take on the questions no we'll discuss I mean, we'll discuss okay. a few issues and then we'll take questions yeah. right yeah i mean i'm just saying that we uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take, take. yeah we'll do that so so uh, what should india do uh, i am picking up the line from sunzu by time and build capability in other domains of warfare artificial intelligence cyber domain cyber drone non contact fire power means dissuasive nuclear deterrence seek partners for an assured supply of war like weapons equipment and munitions currently concurrently work towards indigenization at a rapid pace a rapid pace keep the economy on track seek global partnerships across two blocks that is g7 g20 and brics work towards the leadership of the global south now here i have some views of mine i personally feel that india as of now is doing kind of a balancing act between g20 and brics uh, i hope we do not uh, we do not land into some kind of instability ourselves uh, in order to keep the two blocks in the balance because uh, overtly it is uh, overtly it is now being seen that there seems to be some kind of a movement of east west divide taking place and the global south will be caught in this vortex of east west divide how when where how what will be the shape of this divide i hope we are not looking at the uh, cold war era kind of uh, alignment coming up that is something which uh, we need to be careful of uh, it should not be we should not become a nam that's basically the, my point is that we should not become the uh, leader of the nam we have to take a decisive de decision multipolarity is what we must aim at and not not this bipolar world a uh, split of uh, creation of a bipolar world uh, then lastly actively respond in the gray zone this is where i i have a little uh, issue with our uh, with our uh, powers that be that we are somehow not proactively responding in the uh, gray zone we must have our own narrative why don't we have a one india narrative why do, why don't we criticize the one china policy uh, narrative because unless we do that unless we pay back in the same coin i don't think we will be able to uh, really put china in its place in any case i think we have we have enough of uh, conventional strength there to 
we may not win the war but we will definitely be able to deter china from undertaking any major uh, or a limited offensive at least in the near future so that uh, uh, was the short little presentation which i made and uh, so my my bhavishyavani is that we will see low level wars low level conflicts of the transgression types gray zone activities uh, taking place between india and china almost on a daily basis there we will not be allowed to settle down into a peaceful uh, growth trajectory by the uh, chinese so we must be prepared for that kind of a uh, scenario in the future and keep ourselves from becoming a nam again i would still say keep working towards the multipolar world that is the that is the way to go thank you sir and uh, you can you can yeah i sure uh, you know, i think uh, you made some very valid points आपने बहुत अच्छी तरीके से पूरा दृश्य बता दिया कि आज का हालत क्या है चाइना का क्या हालत है हमारा क्या हालत है कहाँ किटपिट हो सकता है दरार कहाँ है ब्रिज तो है ही नहीं वो तो सब टूट गए और वो क्या कर सकता है और हम क्या कर सकते हैं ये आजकल और आपने ये भी बता दिया कि उसके अंदरूनी प्रॉब्लम्स बहुत हैं अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बोल दीजिए प्रॉपर्टी का प्रॉब्लम इकोनॉमी डाउन हो रहा है एजिंग का प्रॉब्लम है उसका कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी के अंदर को खुद का प्रॉब्लम है जैसे रॉकेट फोर्सेस का कमांडर्स को सेक कर रहा है ये वो बहुत प्रॉब्लम है वो और ये भी इंडिया इंडिया और चाइना का अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेशियो देखेंगे इंडिया इज 7.8 परसेंट एंड चाइना इज 21 परसेंट वन इन एवरी फाइव इज अनएम्प्लॉयड अनएम्प्लॉयड और बहुत चीजें हैं उसके और ये भी मैंने कहीं पढ़ा है कि वहाँ लोकल प्रॉब्लम्स हो रहे हैं जिसकी वजह से जी जिनपिंग अभी चाइना छोड़ के भी नहीं आ सकता सब ये सोच रहे हैं कि ही इज नॉट कमिंग टू इंडिया इज अ स्नप टू इंडिया बट आई थिंक ही कैन नॉट लीव चाइना एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट्स माय असेसमेंट एंड इफ यू सी देर अ रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम निकी एशिया विच से जो बेदाही मीट में हुआ है इज गोट अ ड्रेसिंग डाउन फ्रॉम द पार्टी एल्डर्स so mm-hmm. there are problems so uh, zichin ping has got his own compulsions for not coming out uh, from there okay uh, i'd like to make one more point which you mentioned and i'd like to reinforce it aapne ye bola ki bahut log bol rahe hain ki brics ka summit jo hai wo china ka ho gaya hai aur india ko you know india was shown down and all that which many people in india are talking yeah but mera jaise aapne bola mera bhi bilkul uska vipreet hai क्यों वी हैव टू सी नॉट ब्रिक्स अलोन वी हैव टू सी शंघाई कॉर्पोरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का जो समिट हुआ था वर्चुअल समिट ये ब्रिक्स का समिट और ये आने वाला जी ट्वेंटी समिट ये तीनों को मिलके देख लीजिए चाइना को नीचे दिखाया गया है डेलिबरेटली बाय इंडिया अगर अभी तक yeah. हमें समझ में नहीं आया है तो ये हम बेवकूफ हैं मैं साफ बता रहा हूँ बहुत लोग हमारे बेवकूफ हैं वो जो सिर्फ अकेला देख रहे हैं शंघाई कॉरपोरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में हमने क्या बोला हमने इनका वट एवर चाइना वॉन्टेड टू पुट हिज जी डी आई प्लान वर्बीएज द वे ही वॉन्टेड इट इन द स्टेटमेंट हमने ना कर दिया हमने बी आर आई का एक जिक्र भी नहीं अलाउ किया उस वक्त ठीक राइट ब्रिक्स में आप देखिए ये जो एक्सपेंशन हुआ ब्रिक्स का जो छह देश हैं उसमें चार देशों के साथ हमारा स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप है अगर हमारा स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनर के साथ एक्सपेंशन हो रहा तो हमें क्या दिक्कत है राइट right? अर्जेंटीना वहां हो गया तो उसे ज्यादा फर्क नहीं पड़ता ना इथियोपिया से ज्यादा फर्क पड़ता है बाकी तो हमारे स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनर्स हैं। ईरान और इंडिया का लेन देन बहुत है और ईरान एक चीज है ईरान वो चाइना से भी प्रॉब्लम है चाइना से पहले इंडिया ईरान की रिलेशनशिप है रिलेशनशिप है और ईरान ऐसा देश है जो अपना खुद देखता है ना वो चाइना की तरफ झुकेगा ना इंडिया की तरफ झुकेगा राइट खास करके एसियो में हम एसियो ने ये ब्रिक्स में हमने क्या किया वो जो ब्रिक्स का करेंसी विच दे वॉन्टेड उसको नाकार नहीं होने दिया उसको नहीं होने उसको नहीं होने दिया और उसकी वजह से बिकॉज देर वॉज नो इकोनॉमिक एजेंडा लेफ्ट Xi Jinping, I think, couldn't attend that economic uh, conference before the uh, one day before the main conference. So yeah. Xi Jinping has a lot of problems with India. Or, I mean, he is trying to say that if I don't come to India, 
you know the, it's a snub to india but i think it's the other way around if it doesn't come to india it's good right uh, and I, any uh, case I, I, I want to i want to just add here yeah yeah the activity the activities which china and xi jinping are doing in the last 4 5 days is to create a हलचल इन हलचल इन जी ट्वेंटी दैट मैं तुम्हारे ऊपर अभी भी प्रेजेंट हूँ वर्चुअली इन जी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड थिंग आपने बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात किया है विजय मैं सबको बताना चाहता हूँ आपने जिक्र किया कैलाश रेंज के ऑपरेशन के बारे में और यंग जी में जो हुआ उसके ऑपरेशन के बारे में हमने कैसे उनको आउट मेनूवर किया या धकेल दिया है मैं सबको बताना चाहता हूं क्योंकि बार बार आता है चाइना के पास वो है चाइना के पास ये टेक्नोलॉजी है चाइना के पास बहुत तगड़ा फौज है ये है वगैरह 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 देखिए बैटलफील्ड के ऊपर टेक्नोलॉजी का असर एक हद तक होता है उस हद के बाद आपको आत्मनिर्भरता जो है आपके जवानों से मिलता है और हमारे जवान का कोई मुकाबला करने वाला नहीं है हमने दिखा दिया और उनके जवान में उतना काबिलत नहीं है कि ये माउंटेन्स में आके लड़ने के लिए ये भी हमने देख लिया आप थोड़ा अंदाजा लगाइए इतना टेक्नोलॉजी होने के बाद एक ऑक्सीजन बॉटल लेके 14000 में एक सोल्जर ने घूमना है तो वो किस खेत का मूली है ठीक है वो तो जिस खेत का मूली भी है वो सड़ा हुआ मूली है तो दैट्स द वे इट इज सो टेक्नोलॉजी हैज गॉट लिमिटेड तीसरा बात जो आपने बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बताया आई थिंक वह बहुत अहम बात है चाइना का मुकाबला करने के लिए आज के दिन विश्व में दो ही फौज है एक यूएसए और एक इंडिया और वही इसके एडवर्सरी हैं। अगर इंडिया और यूएसए मिल गए तो चाइना का को पट्टी पड़ा देंगे इसमें दो राय नहीं है ये मैं बार बार बोलता हूँ तो ये जो हम भी जो भी हम कर रहे हैं अगर आज के दिन यूएसए के साथ हमारा खुद का अलग प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है पर हमारा दोनों के साथ एक कॉमन एडवर्सरी है उसको मिलके सॉर्ट आउट करना चाहिए ठीक ओके और जैसे जनरल दुष्यंत ने बताया ग्रे जोन ऑपरेशन वन इंडिया वन चाइना वन इंडिया वन इंडिया का मैप भी बढ़ा दो टिब्बेट तक और टिब्बेट का इशू को ताजा कर लो ये सब ऑन द कार्ड है हमें करने की खास जरूरत इसमें दो 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 राय नहीं है राइट right? और मैं आई एम ओनली ट्राइंग टू यू नो री एनफोर्स वॉट जनरल दुर्शन सेट ओके आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शेयर माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एस्टरडे विद एवरी वन एंड आपके साथ भी कल मैंने अरुणाचल में जो हमारे ऑफिसर्स स्थित हैं उनके साथ मैंने एक बात किया था एंड ये जो बात हमने उनसे उनके साथ किया that is on deterrence and global balance of power and how to avoid conflict or how to manage uh, conflict theek aur bahut cheez hai jo maine unke sath baat kiya aur wo ek dead ghante ka i had to speak for nearly 1 hour 20 minutes uska recording hai mere paas tomorrow i will put it out in public domain in my okay. in my channel lamba hai ek ghanta 20 minute ka hai par कृपया देखिए छोटे छोटे में देखिए मेरा दो ऑप्शन है आई कैन आई कट दैट वीडियो इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स एंड पुट इट एस पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री और आई पुट इट आउट एस वन वीडियो आप लोग जिस तरीके से देखना है देख लीजिए आप पूरा देखिए व्हाट आई गॉट द फीलिंग फ्रॉम आवर ऑफिसर्स देयर वो दे वेर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट राइट आई स्पोक टू अलॉट ऑफ पीपल एज पार्ट ऑफ अ वेबिनार वी हैव अ वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट सेट ऑफ पीपल हु आर हैंडलिंग द एल सो आई हैव नो डाउट अबाउट दैट राइट right? अगर एल से लेकर हमें यहाँ चेन्नई में बैठा हूँ उनको बोल रहे हैं कि सर हमारे साथ बात कीजिए हमें बताइए और दिस इज अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टॉपिक विच आई स्पोक एंड आई स्पोक टू यंग ऑफिसर्स दे अंडरस्टूड एंड दे आस्क मी वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन एंड वेरी सर्चिंग क्वेश्चन विच आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट और ऑफिसर्स एंड जे सी ओर मैन आर एंड गुड हैंड्स और जो मैंने वीडियो जारी किया था अबाउट वीकनेस इन पी एल ए मैंने बताया कि भाई वो जो हिंदी और इंग्लिश वर्षन दोनों उनको दिखाइए Now I'll throw one question at you, General Doshan, or ये इसके बारे में आपका मेरा you know आपका राय चाहिए। देखिए, मेरा ये 
رائے ہے کہ چائنا کے پاس چار نئے چیزیں ہیں فوج کے اندر جب اب ان کا ملٹری شمتا بولتے ہو جو بھی ہے چار چیزیں نئے ہیں ایک اس کا فوج نیا ہے آل ہز سولجرز آر نیو کانسٹنٹلی نیو کانسکرپٹ ہیں دو سال کے بعد بدلی ہو جاتے ہیں ہر وقت نئے ہیں دوسرا اس کے پاس ہر وقت نیا اکوپمنٹ ہے ہر روز بولتا ہے یہ لیزر گن لے آیا یا کچھ لے آیا کچھ راکٹ لے کے آ گیا یا سبمرین لے کے آ گیا ہر وقت نیا چیز آتا رہتا ہے اور جو نیا چیز کو اختیار کرنے میں اور انڈیکٹ کرنے میں فوج کے اندر ٹائم لگتا ہے اور وہ انٹیسٹڈ ہے اور انٹیسٹڈ ان ہائی ٹیوڈ کیونکہ ہمارا جو لڑائی ہوگا وہ ان کے میدانی علاقے میں نہیں ہوگا ہائی ٹیوڈ میں ہوگا so second new thing is his equipment which is untested third thing is his organization iske jo organization hai 4 saal pehle isne theater command system jari kiya ye sab 4 5 saal mein hua hai theater command system leke aaya hai strategic support force leke aaya hai pla rocket force leke aaya hai aur andruni tarike se iske bahut changes leke aaya hai right to ایک آرگنائزیشن کو سٹر ہونے میں ٹائم لگتا ہے اس کا کمانڈ کنٹرول وغیرہ وغیرہ اور اسی کے بیچ اس نے چار بار ویسٹرن تھیٹر کمانڈر بدلی کر دیا راکٹ فورس کے جتنے ٹاپ لیڈرشپ ہیں اس کو آؤٹ کر دیا بار بار یہ ان کا لیڈرشپ کو بلاتا ہے اور پٹی پڑھاتا ہے کہ بھائی یو شوڈ بی لوئل ٹو دا پارٹی اور یہاں تک اس کے جو راکٹ فورس میں نا ایک نیوی کا آدمی جس کو راکٹس کے بارے میں کوئی تجربہ نہیں ہے اس کو ہیڈ آف راکٹ فورس بنا دیا سو یو فائنڈ دیٹ ہز لیڈرشپ از آلسو کوشچن ایبل اور ایک اور رپورٹ آیا تھا چھ مہینے پہلے کہ اس کے پاس یہ جو ہی ڈزنٹ ہیو کمانڈرس فار ہز نیول فلیٹ وچ از ایکسپینڈیڈ سو لیڈرشپ سو دا فور نیو آئی فیل آر ہز اکوپمنٹ ہز پرسنل his leadership and his organization so what are your views on this because these are four things which will dictate whether he will undertake what kind of a thing he'll undertake that's the thing will he undertake a big I'll... war with this or uh, yeah go ahead i i i think that's a very good question and uh, <clears throat> it needs to be analyzed uh, uh, correctly so that we come to some conclusion so we will start the other way around uh, you okay. started off with soldiers and others I always say that the entire game of war depends on leaders. Yeah. Okay. If yeah, the leadership is, anyway. Yeah, if the leadership is good, he can create wonders with a weak force also. Yes. Maharana Pratap, Maharana Pratap, Akbar. To compare anyone. Right? Anyone, go ahead. Now, what, what has he done? In the Politburo, he picks up a second world war guy who fought the vietnam war and puts him into the cold bureau why because he had some experience of the south china sea that links to your problem of uh, the naval commanders deficiency as far as uh, the experience of naval com- commanders are concerned and that is where india also needs to be careful that when we start doing some kind of a transformation our leadership hierarchy change etc should take all these things into account and we must have a balanced perspective pla army's extra domination in the china has somewhere led to this leadership crisis one when you start removing leaders very quickly the policies change the training changes everything else changes so rocket force change, western command western commander four of them changed in rapid succession western commander uh, western theater commander is directly opposite to india what does that indicate that these guys are as a, and and mind you kalash happened when all these things were going on yeah yeah, yeah i agree with you so that's that why is they, where they, they, they couldn't react they couldn't react that's why, that's why okay that, so that takes care of the leadership that that means currently the leadership has to get to know its work get to handle new recruits what you are talking about new soldiers who keep changing every two years and we are talking of agni veer being a very unstable yeah ye to ab do agni veer to 4 saal ke hain ye to 2 saal ke bachche hain ye 2 saal wale you can imagine their you can imagine their condition as to what they by the time they must be training themselves they are out of the uh, window yeah. 
so so that's a main thing. as far as the soldiers is concerned besides this two year tenure i also find that the quality of life of chinese average people has increased because uh, i'm talking of the urbanization factor yeah yeah they their exposure to hardiness you know which was earlier there when earlier. we well, were yeah. under etc you know rural background rural soldier they had that hardiness amongst themselves that's all gone kaput gone yeah it's kaput. It, it's finished if they are taking oxygen like what you said i believe they also take some medicine you know which yeah. allows you to yeah. uh, allows you to remain in high altitude terrain high altitude yeah now ye dawa ke dawa aur daru kha kar ke koi ladai nahi kar sakta i'll give you a personal example of my own we had some kind of a flag meeting at one of our uh, places uh, along our country and uh, it was followed by a lunch it was a normal uh, routine that you know when you are having lunch before the lunch we offer drinks believe you me all the pla generals and brigadiers and what have you those who were there in that epip tent where we had this first flag meeting of india and china when it started off i was witness to that i was a major that time they drank like a pig <laughs> What, 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 I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is that somewhere down the line, the quality of soldiering is taking a beating, because from top to bottom, this kind of a trend is there. And have you tasted their liquor? I have, because we were part of the number of these, you know, meetings. Sometimes That's violent, true. sometimes non-violent. Sometimes a violent meeting turns into a peaceful uh, uh, yeah. end at the end of the end of the thing. So. they offer you cigarettes etc etc so they offered me uh, you know a bottle of uh, chinese liquor chinese rum uh, we went back and shared it in our uh, langar with our men and uh, our men liked it of course when i had it it was it was so jarring that i felt even our you know jo hamari jo waisi wali rum milti wo bhi usse zyada achhi hogi gora wala rum okay mera kehne ka why i am saying these interesting anecdotes is to say that chinese are not 10 feet tall Yep, I agree with you. They, they are they are only trying to beat you in numbers. What happened in Yangtze? They came with three hundred guys here, and you get got beaten up. Three hundred people are coming. Two hundred people are coming. No place. No place. You don't have confidence in yourself that you can match the fifty guys of ours. No. Uh-huh. So that is as far as the soldiering is concerned. New equipment and weapon systems. What happened to their aircraft? Second aircraft carrier. it was in docks for maintenance i don't know how many times how many how many months what happened to the submarine god knows we so, don't know so what we are, what we are trying to say is that even the fighters i believe the pakistanis are going for a development with turkey for uh, aircraft not because they were not aircraft. they were not uh, they were not very happy with uh, the chinese uh, chinese uh, air, 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 chinese air, air aircraft yes sir jf sentins jf sentins and you have 17 so so that's a, that is the story about their equipment untested untried into battle take the case of commanders of the naval fleet we have already discussed organization yeah mm-hmm. that is the last point they have created this western theater command etc so good step i won't say that this is a bad step this is a good step leaders have been focused to look at a particular area they yeah, have yeah. been given the resources they have been given all the paper wise it's it's been it's been a very good idea and a good uh, move i would say but on ground it is not being allowed to stabilize that is a bigger problem and that is where i falter i mean i uh, i highlight the faltering leadership of xi jinping okay xi jinping so I... is not confidence in the pla when he is not having confidence in the pla the entire message goes down the chain and therefore pla also doesn't have faith in its cmc yeah, yeah. central uh, what, what you are saying is right har bar ye piche dekhte rehte hain wo piche so so, uh, so so ladai kahan se hogi jo inke ghar baithe cyber wale hain jo inke you know kaboo so, mein rehte hain is nahin, is tarah ke log they will be active active so the point which we, we I, I, why i took you through this is that from this one is very clear that he will not at this point of time in china ke andar wo stability nahi hai ki he will go for all out war 
आई वुड इवन से देर बी नो मेजर जड़प ऑन दल एस सी तो वॉट कैन हैपन जो ऐसे आपने unless we show a deliberate weakness somewhere because of our our activities no. that oh, we have no, to be no, careful no, no. that now you have so if you get the if you get into the routine if you get into the routine as that has happened number of times they will take advantage i agree with you so the I, in fact that's where i was actually you have come to the qed part <laughs> yeah <laughs> i wanted to come to that level thing so what we you are saying is that if you take care of the lac there's very little scope for china to make headway if you show a weak spot he will take uh, advantage of it yeah, he will take an it. advantage of it he'll take advantage of it okay so at this point of time with the military capability he has and his economic capability and the ability of to get his comprehensive national power to bear on the lac and in the wider indian ocean the threshold of conflict if it happens will be very low you will agree with me yeah okay. absolutely so threshold will be low there will be a grab action or a small infiltration and all that and that will only be feasible if there is a weak spot which is developed or say a local guy who is a little careless or shown a weakness he will he will definitely uh, take it he will right. snap he will take it back he will snap he will snap so इसका इसका द इसका व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट थिंग वी इसके लिए क्या करना चाहिए हमें हमें पहले तो सतर्क होना चाहिए इसमें दो राय नहीं है अगर किसी न किसी ने किसी तरीके से या किसी वजह से वो अगर कोई आके पकड़ लिया तो हमारा मेरे ख्याल में आप इसके ऊपर भी कमेंट कर सकते हो इनफैक्ट आई वॉन्ट यू टू कमेंट हमारा दो ऑप्शन है या उसको वहां धकेल दो बाहर कंटेन करके धकेल दो या दूसरी जगह घुस जाओ ये दो ऑप्शन है या और कोई ऑप्शन है आपके पास या इसी के ऑप्शन के ऊपर आप कमेंट कर सकते हो देखिए ये जो दोनों ऑप्शन आपने बताए हैं ये दोनों ऑप्शन एक्चुअली हर समय होते रहते हैं ये भी मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ आपको पता ही होगा आई वॉज दी चीफ ऑफ स्टाफ ऑफ इस and doklam happened right why it happened we were getting signals it was not that we were not getting signals but we went into the normal routine of assessment saying that you know no these guys they just come every time do some wrestling and go back finally one fine day when they found that we are also in the routinized manner treating all these uh, wrestling matches which we have between Uh, the two troops or the two sides they came up with this kind of a surprise what happened in doklam but after doklam what we did even they didn't know i won't i am not going to reveal what we yeah, did yeah, believe, it. believe it but but what we did it did force them to go back repel leave their dozer there itself leave everything went back now whatever they are doing they are doing it in their territory they are building infrastructure so you are also building infrastructure you also made roads you also done yeah, 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 yeah. across the border we, we, we so don't be, have to, so, be, so, 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 be, so if they are doing it it is good they are committing their that's why i said there will be some kind of a limited uh, mini cold war which will take start taking place yeah. another incident another incident we picked up some signals no conversation somewhere across and that signal was moving towards the lc lac an assessment was quickly done in the uh, in the uh, core command headquarters everyone looked at the whole situation we used to take 3 days to reach lac because of a lack of infrastructure we moved them and even before they could enter uh, the uh, water said so called macmohan line water said we were able to stop them push them back nobody came to know quite action taken done across such like actions are taking place on a on a, on a very routine on basis a routine basis but it has improved considerably in the last few years because of two things artificial intelligence 
one has been used uh, for satellite surveillance etc and for other aerial surveillance and second are tie ups with our friendly countries yeah i agree with you that is that is giving us kind of a very good uh, 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 very good advance notices on any kind of chinese movements so yang se got prevented i would put the credit a fair amount of credit for yang se from not coming turning out to be a serious situation to this particular aspect that and this is what i was referring to that we if we can preempt that's the best if somehow because after all defenses will always be breached second world war le lo first world war le lo yeah, it's always there my uh, that the magnet line got breached so our defenses are prone to be breached human beings can't be uh, 100% robotic surveillance doing uh, surveillance etc even monitoring takes time effort if it get gets breached obviously there are options counter options of going across into another area and we will do that so we need and to we will do that, that. Yeah, I and agree with that. Completely. If I am thinking like a military man, military man who is retired, I am sure the serving guy who has been trained oh, by oh, us. No, no, no. 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 No ताकि सबको पता चले कि लॉजिकली अगर आप सोचेंगे तो क्या हो सकता है नहीं हो सकता हम क्या कर सकते हैं वो क्या कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल इस ये जो सीमा है ये ट्रांस एलसी का जड़प का ये और मेरा भी मानना ये है कि हमें हमें ग्रे जोन एक्टिविटीज ज्यादा शुरू करने की जरूरत है इसमें दो राय नहीं है हमारा जो डिप्लोमेटिक रवैया है उसको बदले करने की जरूरत है कि गोल टू वन इंडिया वन चाइना को नकार कर दो किसी तरीके से वैसे हम वन चाइना को वैसे भी मानते नहीं है क्योंकि हम वी आर मेंटेन्ड अ वी वेग पोस्टर ऑन दैट सो वी कैन थ्रो इट आउट एंड मेरे ख्याल में डोंट यू थिंक इट्स टाइम दैट वी स्टार्टेड डूइंग समथिंग इन टिबेट देखिए अगर अभी नहीं करेंगे तो कभी नहीं कर पाओगे कब सक्सेशन इज अ मेजर इशू एज फार एज टिबेट इज कंसर्नड ऑफ द दलाई लामा why don't you start the narrative for that there are resources available with you why don't yeah, you start government in exile hai pura government in exile hai aapke paas sicop sicop ja raha apne aap bichara australia wahan ja ke kuch statement de raha hai wo jo president so called president uh, of uh, of uh, yeah government in exile government in exile promote him yeah In fact, let me tell you today only I I made an outreach to I said यार कोई है ये government in exile में Tibetan Sikyong या जो भी है जो उसका designated है आओ oh, Gunner Shot के ऊपर बात करो हम बात करेंगे आपके साथ और आपका क्या राय आप Correct. जो भी राय बोल दो हम सुनेंगे बिल्कुल हो सकता है हम हमारे पास कोई आपके लिए कोई you know we don't have a solution but कम से कम let him start speaking on Indian channels you know that's yeah. what i've been trying and in fact today i've started let me see where we go because unless ye jo tibet ka kahani hum shuru nahi karenge to ye problem nahi hoga we are also we are we are also planning something like that dekho yeah. success yeah we yeah, see dekhte hain ya agar aap jante ho to bulaiye hum after all main sabko batana chahta hu jo bhi dekh rahe hain general durshant ka jo stripe channel hai aur hamara gunner shot hai bye bye we are friends huh? we are not against <laughs> we help each other <laughs> and yes, for the yes, simple yes. yeah so for the simple reason let me tell you general doshyant and i started our friendship in california when we were in the naval post graduate school doing the course there so we are good yeah. old friends from a long time okay yes. so shall we take some questions we'll take yeah yeah sir. yeah sure sir yeah